Hey there, I just wanted to do a video just as a review for Legendborn. It was a young adult fantasy book that I had purchased uh, late 2020, but didn't end up finishing. I actually put this book down after maybe the 20% mark. At the very beginning, I just found it really dense with a lot of um, information. So it's kind of a retelling of uh, the mythology of King Arthur and Lancelot. And it goes into a lot of Welsh history. And it stars Brie, which is a character you obviously see on the cover. And she's just reeling with the events of um, her mother's passing in a car accident, which seemed really sketchy. Um, a lot of her memories were fragmented from the event and she's just dealing with a lot of um, PTSD and just unrelenting grief and she shortly afterwards decides to kind of get out of her hometown and she ends up going to UNC and everything kind of unravels from there. So I initially put this book down at the 20% mark. I just like I was alluding to, I just found that there was a ton of information that I just wasn't registering. It just felt like really dense. And at, at the at point in time when I put the book down, I thought it was just too much info dumping and I just really couldn't get into it. But the thing is, I just kept hearing so many people say how good the book is and just how complex of a young adult fantasy it was and that Tracy was really doing something different and that people really 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 need to be giving this book a lot more hype than it is getting and it is obviously a recognized novel but it just it's just so incredibly well done that more people should be talking about it so after a while I decided, you know what, I am going to actually take time to finish the book. And I just finished, I just um, recently finished reading um, some romantic comedies. And I've been really on a roll lately as far as um, getting my reading done because I had a really hard time in 2020. Anyways, to get back to the review. After the 20% mark, I just continued to give the book a chance and I got into it yesterday. And let me tell you, the book really, really picks up. If you're someone that was kind of on the fence about Legend Born or um, read a little bit of it and then kind of put it down, I just highly encourage you to go back and maybe try again. I know typically how I feel about books is if I have a really hard time getting into it before like the 30% mark or so, I usually feel like I'm not going to enjoy the story and I just put it down. But sometimes it's worth giving books a second try. Not everyone has to do that, but for me, sometimes it's beneficial because you end up missing out on an incredible story. And that's what happened with Legendborn. I gave it a chance, got past the 30% mark, and let me tell you, that pace picks up exponentially. And it was just really in awe of how Tracy did clearly so much research you can tell that there was a lot of care crafted into the book and a lot of the, the lore and mythology and the terminology that's used. And I was just in awe. And it does deal with race and oppression and classism quite a bit. And I have, um, as of late, have said, you know, I prefer to have stories where Black trauma isn't the central piece of storytelling. I enjoy reading books that have Black authors and have Black characters as the main star and focus, but I really would rather see them in adventure settings where race isn't a primary um, conflict builder in the story. And I'd rather see them at black characters in like romantic settings and just settings where they can be multidimensional human beings and not have their race be the only thing of interest. But Tracy had done such an amazing job in this world that everything kind of is woven in together and you end up really feeling angry on the behalf of Brie. You truly understand her anger and her unrelenting rage it just really resonated with me. And the more and more that I read, the more and more I was captivated. Like, it's crazy to me that I read this book at 
first last year, stopped at the 20% mark, put it down for months on end, and then just said yesterday, I'm going to finish it. And then after the 40% mark, I just could not put the book down. Like I stayed up until like 3 a.m., which is crazy for me because I haven't done that in such a long time just to finish the book. And now I'm so excited for Legendborn 2 because it is left on such a cliffhanger. I found it also interesting too um, with the love interest that I actually root for both of the gentlemen, uh, both Nick and Cell, because they have such an interesting adversarial relationship and both of their dynamics with her is really interesting to me, especially what's revealed at the end really changes um, the perspective. And it's a love triangle where I feel like it's balanced, that it can go either way. I'm kind of more team sell, but it's not a triangle where there's a clear winner and loser. Like both guys, I can see potentially being incredible mates for, uh, for Brie. And even without the love interest aspect, the lore of the book is just so interesting. I don't want to give too much away, but this book is worth checking out. It really is. I totally understand why now so many people have been singing its praises. And even with that, I still think it deserves even more hype. It is just spellbinding. It is such a great book. I love what it's, it was able to do. I do think, though, for some, what may be a deterrent for getting into this book is because there's just so much information is presented to you. But as you get towards the end, you start to realize why so much information is presented. And if anything, I have even more questions now than before. But anyways, I think I gave this like, I wanted to give it four and a half out of five stars, but Goodreads technically doesn't let, allow you to do that. So I technically rated it four, but I kind of rated it four and a half out of five to me. And the only reason I didn't give it a full five is that there is just little sections that I had little quibbles with. And because I put the book down for so long, and it took me such a long time to get back into it, but it definitely deserves its roses. It's a good young adult fantasy. So I just want to do that quick um, book review. So that's it for me. I'm going to be reading yet another young adult fantasy that I'll probably be talking about very soon. Anyways, I hope you have an amazing day. And thank you for checking out this video. Peace.